Yo, what is up guys? My name is Hussein, also known as System Exploited, and in today's video, we're gonna be exploring the Web OSINT room. Basically, this room talks about how you can conduct information based on open source intelligence uh, on a website. So, let's start. So, the first task is basically telling us our target website, which is republiccoffee.com. So, if we go to republiccoffee.com, nothing is gonna load because this website is down all right we complete the task now the second task is uh, who is registration basically now we're gonna look up the history of the website uh, now we're gonna uh, conduct a who is lookup which is basically the most basic form of domain recon available so we go to icanlookup.com and you paste the website in here and you click on look up all right, as you can see, we can start uh, answering the questions. So what is the name of the company the domain name was registered in? As we can see, it's name cheap Inc. Uh, what phone number is listed and phone number listed for some reason. It doesn't show up on ICANN.org. So we're going to be using a command line tool called Whois. You can install it by doing app install Whois and press enter. All right, as you can see, uh, this is the phone number. So what is the first name server listed for this site? If we go up to our who is info, the first name server that we get is this one. Uh, what is listed for the name of the registrant? Uh, basically, the website uses uh, privacy features. So the name of the registrant is called redacted for privacy. All right. So what country is listed for the registrant? Uh, for some reason, uh, the country doesn't show up on ICANN nor who is, but the country is called Panama. Uh, and we are done from task two. Now we'll move on to task three. It's called Ghosts of Websites Past. So now this website, as we saw earlier, doesn't load. Uh, if it doesn't load, that doesn't mean we can't get more information. We're going to be using uh, the web archive. So let's paste our domain name in here. And as you can see, these are the results we get. We click on December 31. 2015 all right as you can see in here we got the website uh, the original website that was hosted in 2015 all right cool let's all right so what is the first name of the blog author so let's just click on any blog and see the content of it all right as you can see this is the blog the author name is steve as you can see so let's type in steve what city and country was the author writing from uh, basically there's a back alley just east of downtown so let's look up this downtown and i can't spell this out oh it's a city in south korea so he was he was in this area and in south korea what is the name of the temple inside the national park the author frequently visits so in here we don't get information about that so let's just see his second blog post in here so as you can see he goes to this national park but as we saw in this question we need to name it in english so we just paste it in here and we, let's say let's type in temple for example all right as you can see this is interesting this seems like the name of the temple in english not south korean so let's just copy this and paste it and as you can see we have successfully finished task three all right, guys, so now task four is digging into DNS. So we're going to be using a website called viewdns.info. Basically, this website shows, shows us a couple of great tools, and we can see the history of the website. So the first question is, what was republicofcoffees.com IP address as of October 2016? If we go to the IP history option in here and paste in the domain name and press on go. So the website has changed its IP address four times. And on, in October 2016, this was its IP. So if we go back in here, paste the IP in here, submit, that's the right IP. Based on the other domains hosted on the same IP address, what kind of hosting service can we safely assume our target uses? So if you actually go back and just do a basic uh, reverse IP lookup on it and check the IP of the website, as you can see, we can see that there's seven more than 7,000 7, domain names in here. That means that the website is using shared hosting. And that is right. How many times has the IP address changed in the history of the domain? As we saw earlier, four times. 
Now, let's move on to task 5, which is basically a challenge for us. Alright guys, so our target is heat.net, and I'm gonna be using whois uh, to check some information about heat.net. So the first question is, what is the second name server listed for the domain name? The name, this is the first name server, this is the second one, and they want the second one, and here it is. What is the IP address? Was the domain name listed on as of December 2011, we go to view, view DNS.info, we check the uh, history of it, and as we can see, in 2011, this is the IP address in here, and this is the IP. Based on the domain names that share the same IP, what kind of hosting service is the domain name uh, owner using? And if we go go ahead and it check in here for heat.net, press enter, as you can see, we get a lot of domain names. So this is most probably a shared address. So now we're going to go to our favorite website, which is the web archive. We type in heat.net. And the question is, on what date was the site first captured by the Internet Archive? So it was captured on June 1st, 1997. And this is the answer. Uh, what is the first sentence of the first body paragraph to, from the final capture of uh, 2001? Uh, so in here, we click on 2001. And uh, what is the first sentence of the final capture? And the final capture was on July 6th. We click on the final capture in here. This is the first sentence. We copy it and we put it in here. After years of great using your ser uh, your search engine skills, what was the name of the company that was responsible for the original version of the site? Who owns heat.net? The simple Google search, Sega Soft, and the answer in here is Sega Soft. What does the first header on the site on the last capture of 2010 says? Uh, if we go back, Let's see the last capture of 2010. We click on 2010. And the last capture was, was on December 30. Let's see what uh, what does the first header? The first header is heat.net heating and cooling. And this is it. So let's move on to task six. All right. Task six basically uh, talks about um, how can we conduct information from out of the source code by collecting information such as comments, email addresses, Google AdSense IDs, and other things. So, now, this is the link that we need to enumerate for this task. This website should load right now. Alright, the first question is, how many internal links are in the text of the article? Internal links are the links that link to the same website so as you can see in here one two three four five six we have six links but uh, this link is not internal it's it's linking to an external website so we have five how many external links are in the text of the article we have one which is this one check around for the best deals it try to find the google analytics code and the google analytics always is in the source code so if we do type in analytics as you can see this is the google analytics code we go back and we paste it in here is the google analytics code in use on the other website no it's not does the link to this website have any obvious affiliate links it codes nope it doesn't have any uh, links or embedded links in it so uh, we go on the final task uh, the final task basically is connecting the dots as we can see in here uh, basically now we're gonna analyze heat.net and the external website that it was pointing at this is the external website it's called purchase.org we're gonna see the link between these two websites all right so what i'm gonna do is go to the ip history in here and type in purchase.org As you can see, these are the IP history. It's the IP uh, the the IP address is owned by a company called Liquid Web for the purchase.org. And in here, if you go to heat.net again and search it up, 
and the IP of this website is owned by liquid.web so basically the connection in here is that they're using the same hosting company so that's the connection and in Taskate, we are done basically for this room. This is the web OSINT room from TryHackMe. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Hussein and I'm out.